1,000 years ago, superstition and the sword ruled. It was a time of darkness. It was a world of fear. It was the age of gargoyles. Stone by day, warriors by night. We were betrayed by the humans we had sworn to protect, frozen in stone by a magic spell for a thousand years. Now here in Manhattan, the spell is broken, and we live again. Okay, front door's locked, all of the laser grids are on, you go on inside. And don't get too close to the displays. Halt, police! You, most useless member of a craven, puny race, you think you can stop me? Possibly not, but I can. like we could take her to jail without answering a lot of complicated questions. Uh, at least Demona didn't get the mirror. Yes? Oberon sent me. Here anyway, Dracula's daughter? Relax, it's okay. I've done this before. Take your money and go while you still can. So far, my plans have always been thwarted, one after the other. But tonight, I take control. Cum ice girat. Argentum et aum involare. Postea pac ad speculum, Titania penetrare. Well, Captain Chavez just confirmed it. Demona was a decoy. Thieves took the mirror while we were chasing her around the park. I should have expected such deviousness from her. So, how bad is this? What can she do with an antique mirror? 
It's not just a mirror, lass. It's Titania's mirror. Titania, queen of the third race. Third race? You know, gargoyles, humans, and Oberon's children. I thought everybody knew this. Yeah, that guy Shakespeare wrote a play about them. A Midsummer Night's Dream? Scotsmen call them the fair folk. The Vikings call them dark elves. They are changelings, shapeshifters, creatures of pure magic, and their possessions, like the mirror, are vessels of great power. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Shapeshifters, elves, fairies? You mean the real? As real as I am, if the stories be true. <laughs> Is this how you welcome all of your guests? Any who might turn on me. And you're not a guest. You serve the human, now you can serve me. Serving humans is fun. They have a sense of humor. You have none. Perhaps not, Puck, but I have you. Wouldn't it be great to be a shapeshifter? We wouldn't have to hide. We could fit in anywhere. We could find new friends, maybe even love. Be careful what you wish for, lad. Well, let's just get this over with, shall we? How can I be of service? Huh? Out with it. I haven't got all night. You've got all millennium if I choose. I'm too vulnerable during the day. I don't want to turn to stone anymore. Of course, you want to stroll down Fifth Avenue in the sunshine. I'm sure you'll fit right in. I could if there were no blasted humans. Yes, Puck. I want you to get rid of the humans. All of them. Does this look like Aladdin's lamp? I have limits, after all. What is it you really want? How quaint. After all these centuries, you're still carrying a torch. Well, if that's what you want, I can make him love you again. Piece of cake. Given your charming personality. That's it. That's what I want. If you cannot get rid of all the humans, then at least rid me of that human. Elisa Maza. Did you say that human or that human? Oh, never mind. I'll figure it out. This just might be fun after all. <laughs> Thy sight, Demona, doth offend. So Puck will hasten to amend. Be gone, Elisa, human born, and be no more as you were formed. Mirror or no mirror, Demona's no match for us together. We just have to wait until she makes her move. <laughs> Elisa! <laughs> Wonderful, you've been changed into a gargoyle. What? What have you done? The human Elisa Maza is no more. Then let's do the same to every human in the city. You don't know what you're asking. Believe me. Can it be done? Tell me the truth. Yes, but not from here. We've always been gargoyles. You're the one who's been changed. Probably by Demona and the mirror. I've always been a gargoyle. I think I'd know if I wasn't. How did we first meet? I fell off a skyscraper and you glided down and caught me. Think. If you've always had wings, why did you need me to catch you? Uh, I can't glide with these. Can I? Yes, you can. <laughs> You. That's not why I brought you here. Oh, all right. I've got to marshal my forces, so to speak. This may take a while. I never realized when you were human how beautiful you are. You mean you thought I was ugly? Well, uh, careful, updraft. <laughs> why haven't I done this before? You couldn't. You were human. Look. Oh, no, look at them. Maybe we should land somewhere and talk. Did you see? Everyone in Manhattan's been turned into a... a human. No, 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 no. Look! 
All humans on this concrete aisle, Demona finds your presence vile. So do you now as I command, and be not woman, child, nor man. What was that? It can only be Demona. Wait! Take me to see my empty city. You're too late this time, old soldier. You can't fight all of us, lass. Curse you, Puck. This is no time to sleep. The mirror! What? Trying to find a needle in a haystack. It's too weird. Kind of fun, but weird. With Demona involved, it's more than weird. It's dangerous. I wanted you to destroy the humans, not give them the gift of being a gargoyle. Change the gargoyles to humans. I must regain my strength. I've noticed you're not too tired to make yourself invisible to the crowd. Okay, okay, I was just catching my breath. Don't worry. I'll do exactly as you ask. All right, we've got the mirror. Now what? That was one of Oberon's children with Demona. No doubt about it. <sighs> she called him Puck. In Shakespeare's play, Puck was a harmless trickster. What happened below wasn't harmless. Come, we must continue our search for them. I'll never get the hang of jumping off rooftops. I'll always be there to catch you. See? It's easy. I don't want anything else jumping out from this thing. A light blinded me, and, and then I fell. I've never fallen before. Elisa, you've changed back to normal. No, I haven't. You've changed. You're a human. You fell because you don't have wings. Uh, Elisa, we've always been human. I, we've never needed wings to glide before. Wait a minute. We must have used wings. How else could we glide? Elisa's right. We're supposed to be gargoyles, and we're not. Everyone else should be human. But thanks to Demona and Puck, they're not. Is it done? <sighs> yes. <gasps> I told you to turn the gargoyles to humans! Oh, you meant these gargoyles. I thought you meant Goliath and his clan. My mistake. Your last mistake. Hold on, I thought you'd be pleased. Goliath is a puny human now. And at your mercy. Humans, look out! Run! No, 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 humans, look out! Are you sure this is a good idea? Demona must have done this to make us vulnerable to her attack. Our only chance is to keep the battle here on the ground, where her wings will be of no use. I 
would know you no matter what your form, Goliath. Take care of them, Puck. As you wish. Humans love a battle, Hearty. So does Puck. Come on, let's party. are attacking that woman. She needs help. Wait. Stop. You don't understand. You're no match for me as a pitiful human. My strength has never depended on brute force, Demona. But on true friends. No way we can take them. Hey, we're the monsters, remember? So... Uh... <laughs> Who are you to interfere with? You! What does it take to destroy you? Goliath, uh, run! I'll handle Demona. We'll handle her together. over. It ends now. Puck, change everyone back to the way they were before Demona summoned you. Do it, and you win your freedom. It will be my pleasure, but afterwards, I'm going to need a very long nap. First the humans I'll attend. You command, free puck, let him homeward wend. You're free. <laughs> Was a romp indeed. Spare me your gloating. Just go. Without giving you something in return for all this merriment? Puck is many things, but never a poor guest. Please. Leave. You want to be your gargoyle self by night, but not stone by day? So be it. Here's some creature who would stay, unchanged by the light of day. Remain you thus throughout the night, and be thou flesh by dawn's fair light. It's almost done. I would like to have seen the sun just once. Elisa, I... Yeah, I know. You're as relieved as I am that things are back to normal. That's not what I was going to say. I know. But that's the way it is. I don't believe it. He actually did it. And the sun is so warm. I never dreamed it would feel this good. 